In the annals of history, few names evoke the sheer aura of power and dread as Genghis Khan. Emerging from the steppes of Mongolia, he forged one of the largest empires ever known, not just through military genius, but also through a calculated regime of terror. This video delves into the dark underbelly of the Mongol conquests, focusing on the brutal execution methods employed by Genghis Khan to instill fear and compliance among his enemies. We'll explore the spectrum of these methods, saving the most chilling for last as we journey through the bloody pages of Mongol history. One of Genghis Khan's infamous methods was the construction of colonnades of death. Captured enemy soldiers, accused traitors, and even innocent civilians were forced to kneel in long rows, only to be decapitated in a macabre display of power. This method was not just about punishment, it was a psychological weapon, showcasing the fate awaiting those who opposed the Mongol horde. Genghis Khan often ordered the construction of pyramids made entirely of human skulls, a grim testament to his victories. These macabre monuments served dual purposes, commemorating Mongol triumphs and sending a stark message to any would-be resistors about the futility of opposition. In an era where torture and execution were commonplace, the Mongols innovated with cruelty. One method involved boiling enemies alive, a punishment reserved for those who were deemed to have betrayed Mongol trust or committed particularly heinous acts against the Khan's warriors. The psychological impact of such a method on both the victims and onlookers was profound, ensuring loyalty through fear. A particularly gruesome method involved pouring molten silver into the eyes and ears of captured enemy leaders. This method, reserved for those who Genghis Khan felt had personally wronged him or his family, was a stark message that betrayal or disrespect would be met with unimaginable cruelty. These execution methods, while horrifying, were part of a larger strategy employed by Genghis Khan to maintain control over his vast empire. The sheer terror they invoked was a tool of governance, ensuring that regions once conquered would remain compliant out of fear of reprisal. This narrative, while dark, is a crucial part of understanding the complex figure of Genghis Khan and the empire he built an empire that was as much founded on psychological warfare as it was on the prowess of its armies. As we stand in the long shadow cast by the Mongol Empire, it's crucial to reflect on the lessons history teaches us about the use of fear as a tool for control. Engage with us in the comments below to discuss the impact of such brutal tactics, not just on the course of history, but on the very fabric of human society. What can we learn from the reign of Genghis Khan? that applies to our world today? Share your thoughts and join the conversation.